Welcome to the HEO Officiating Program's Rule of the Week. Before we get started, just a reminder to like this video and to subscribe to the channel so you can receive updates each week for the Rule of the Week, plus any other videos that we might share. This week, we're going to talk about, about broken sticks and ways that players can legally receive a stick on the ice without incurring a penalty. So our rule of the week this week actually comes from a suggestion from a member of our hockey community that wanted to learn more about broken sticks and how players can legally receive sticks on the ice. If you have a certain rule that you want to learn more about, you can email us by checking out the, the email address at the end of the video. The rule reference for what I'm going to talk about this week is actually located in 3.2 broken sticks as part of the Hockey Canada rulebook. But I'd like to spend the majority of time in this video talking about specific scenarios that players may encounter on the ice. Let's say, for example, a player on the bench throws a stick to a player on the ice who's lost their stick. The player on the ice who picks up that thrown stick from the bench would actually receive a penalty for receiving an illegal stick. The player on the bench, if they can be identified, would receive a bench minor penalty plus a game misconduct penalty. If the player cannot be identified, the team would still receive a bench minor penalty. Okay, what about this? Let's say that the player on the ice loses their stick on team A. A player on team B also loses their stick. So then a player on the bench for team A throws a stick from the bench on team A and a player on team B actually picks up the stick. Well, this is interesting because the player on team A on the bench, he would actually receive a game misconduct and a bench minor penalty for throwing the stick. And the player on the ice for team B on the opposite team would also receive a penalty for illegally receiving a stick. So you can actually have a case there where there is a minor penalty assessed to both player to players on both teams on the same play. So we know that it's legal for a player to actually go past their own player's bench and pick up a stick from another player. Let's say that they do that from one of a player on their team who's in the penalty bench. Again, they would receive a penalty for receiving an illegal stick because the rule is that the player on the penalty bench is actually not allowed to participate in the play in any way. Interestingly enough, the player on the penalty bench in this case wouldn't receive a second minor penalty. So then the question is to be asked, well, if I lose a stick, how can I receive it? Well, talking earlier, you can go by your own player's bench to receive a stick legally from another player on the bench who passes you a stick. The other thing you can do is if you lose a stick on the ice, a player on your team on the ice can actually pass you their stick. And you can actually pass it back to them at another point. They could pass to you again, pass back to This can happen multiple times. This is not a penalty. You can actually shoot or kick a stick to another player on your team who's lost that stick, provided that you don't interfere with any players on the ice or the play at any point, at which point you would receive an interference penalty. So what about goaltender sticks? Well, if a goaltender loses their stick, they can get past another stick from a teammate and they can play with that stick until the first stoppage of play. If a goaltender loses their stick and say it goes into the corner, another player, typically a defenseman, can go and pick that stick up and bring it to the goaltender without a penalty, provided that they don't participate in the play in any way uh, while they have the goaltender stick in their hand. They cannot even drop it and participate in the play. Once a player picks up a goaltender stick, they are committed to going directly to the goaltender and passing them back that stick and any attempt to play or participate in the play in any way will be penalized with a minor penalty. A player picks up a goaltender stick from the bench during the play and then slides that stick across the ice to the goaltender. That cannot happen. That's going to be a minor penalty to that player and a minor penalty to the goaltender if they illegally pick up the stick. If a player picks up a stick from the bench for the goaltender, they must immediately uh, and without interruption head directly to the goaltender. I hope this video has shone some light on some of the rules around stick penalties, broken sticks, and things you can and can't do when receiving a stick on the ice. 
Just as a reminder, we're away for the next two weeks during the holiday season. On behalf of the HEO officiating program, we'd like to wish all officials, we'd like to wish all spectators, parents, coaches, uh, association presidents, executive members, etc., all members of our hockey community, a wonderful holiday season. And we'll be back here in January. If you have any comments for us, please don't hesitate to let us know. Contact your association uh, RIC, your district RIC, or of course you can email us at the uh, email address at the bottom of the screen. Again, if you also have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see us make, please let us know. Otherwise, we hope everyone has a great holiday season and we'll see you back here in January.